it's all very exciting. <sighs> School has never been easy for Tim. Yeah, I know he's only graduating from junior college, but still, I am proud of him. But you know who I'm really proud of? I'm proud of me. <laughs> yeah, I know we both raised him, but it was always easier for you. You're patient, nurturing. For me, Tim was always a struggle, but I got through it. I mean, no matter how many times he failed, I dusted myself off and I just kept loving him. <laughs> He's leaving this house, going off to a real college. You know, it's really my big day. If you need me, I'll be crying on the floor of the shower. Oh, Annie. Honey. Our baby's leaving. Listen, I'm sad that Tim is leaving, too. Just like I was sad when Sarah left and when Todd left. Especially Todd. I mean, the kid's fabulous. They're all fabulous. In a way. You know, I'm really excited for it to be just you and me again. Me too. Would it be wrong if Tim slept in our bed tonight? Hey, little brother. I got you a graduation present. Sarah, thanks. Airplane tickets. To can. Coon! <laughs> this is amazing! All he shouldn't have! You and I are gonna go nuts down there! <laughs> you and I? Well, I thought so, but if you want to ask Mom and Dad to come with us, that'd be great! So, any response to that personal ad? No, but I bought a bird. His name is Eric. Eric Wasserman. There he is! Congratulations, Tim. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Uh, Mom said the wedding invitations are going out this week. Yes, they're beautiful. We're very excited. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. So, how are things with Eric? Good. Good. Real good, actually. It's nice. We are talking about a bird, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Judy, Todd, I hear. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hi, Todd. Hi, Judy. Hi, Mrs. Brennan. Hi, Dr. Brennan. Sweetie, you're marrying our son in two months. We're mom and dad now. Well, how you doing, mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, you can call me mom, but keep calling Dr. Brennan, Dr. Brennan. <laughs> I'm a personal genie. It's just a little soon for me. <laughs> so, my little brother graduating from junior college. Did you really do it? Do what? Graduate. Of course. You really graduated from junior college. Yes. He took all the classes, did all the coursework, passed all the tests. Todd, stop. You said he didn't. Okay? But if you didn't, we'd still love you. We'd still go to Cancun. Guys. All right, hey, guys. We're running late. We've got to take one family picture and get this show on the road, all right? Tim, in the chair. Everybody gather around. Come on. I'm so proud of you, honey. I always knew you could do it. I wish you had your hair cut. Come on, come on. All right, everyone. Oh, you know what, Jeannie? You're going to be in the pictures at the restaurant. We're just going to go with the core group on this one. <laughs> All right, okay, there. Now, on three, everybody say happy graduation. One, two, three. Happy, happy graduation! graduation! <laughs> and I can't wait for the day that you can be in these pictures, too. <laughs> for a second? Sure. Uh, you kids, go on ahead. Uh, I have to tell you something. What is it, honey? Maybe you should sit down. <laughs> Tim, why are we sitting down? Well, at the ceremony today, all the other graduates will be wearing red gowns, whereas mine, you can see, is blue. <laughs> Why is that, Tim? Because I bought mine at a costume shop. Why'd you do that, Tim? I think we both know why I did that, Dad. You're not graduating today? No, I'm not. This Tim will just retake the classes that he failed and we'll get even more tutors. Why would you wait until now to tell us? That's everyone else's fault, really. <laughs> no one believed in me. Everyone was so sure that I was going to fail 
I wanted all of you to see me in this gown and know that you were wrong. <laughs> but you did fail! All right, look, I know I should have told you guys earlier. I'm sorry. You were just so happy. You know, I, I guess I didn't want to say the thing that would take that all away. Anyway, we're all here, and I bought the gown. <laughs> we might as well go through with this thing, huh? I'll see you guys outside. You take the good kids and go in your car? <laughs> I'll take Tim. It's going to be okay. We should have known something was wrong when he said his major was historical stuff. <laughs> Look, I know you're frustrated with Tim, but you still have a lot to be proud of. Maybe Maggie's right. I mean, Todd's engaged to a lovely girl. He's a dentist in my practice. And Sarah's a VP at Keystone Financial. They're doing great. They are doing great. I'm talking about Tim. <laughs> Look. I know Bill and I split up before we ever had kids, so I'm no expert, but if I did have a son and he turned out half as sweet as Tim, I'd feel pretty lucky, hmm? Oh, anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you. We've got to get our key back from her. <laughs> She's just trying to be helpful. Although you can start to understand why Bill left her. <laughs> I think it's time for tough love. I think Tim has to learn some responsibility. I think we should ask Tim to move out. Let's do it. Tim, can you come down here? Wait, we're gonna do this now? If I think about it too long, I'll never do it. Tim! Coming! I thought there'd be some discussion, maybe an argument or two, a few tears. I gotta say, this is a little exciting. Hey, Mom, Dad, check it out. We need to talk to you. Good, because I need to talk to you guys. Okay? Listen, I've been thinking. I'm 20 years old now. In some ways, I'm an adult. <laughs> but in other ways, let's face it, I haven't been. Yes, Tim. But I think I have a solution. I want my own phone line. <laughs> And a new bedspread. I've had that one since I was 11. It has soccer balls all over it. I don't even like soccer anymore. I like basketball. Look, I'm gonna be here for a while, and I just think it'd be nice if your house started to feel a little bit more like our house. Uh-huh. You're moving out. What? It's time. You gotta go. Mom? We love you so much. Sort of a hardball counter. I just think you need to learn some responsibility, and your mother and I believe this is a good step. Wow. I guess I can move in with some friends. Oh, and we'll help you with the money until you find a job. You have a week. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm going through Tim's old schoolwork. I found it when he was packing up today. Do you remember this essay from fourth grade? What I want to be when I grow up. He said, a car. <laughs> So listen, it's our first night in the house alone. I thought maybe I'd cook a little dinner just for you and me. Mm, that'd be great. <laughs> just us and Sarah. Wait, why Sarah? Oh, she's coming over to play Scrabble. Oh, again? What, you don't like playing with her? No, she's bossy. She's competitive, she's always banging that timer. Well, you, know, you can just be so slow sometimes. It's like it's Friday night. She should be out with friends or something. Well, she was gonna go to the movies with Tim, but he ended up moving out today. Tim's her brother. There should be others. 
she enjoys her family. I think it's nice. You know what? Fine. I'm going to call Todd. Jeannie's out of town. Maybe he'll come over. After I call Tim, I want to see how the move went. Great. It'll just be you and me, and Todd, and Sarah, and Tim on the phone. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, darling. Whoa, look at that dress. You look nice. Well, it's Friday night. You going out later? No. <laughs> Peter, Tim never showed up at his friend's house today. I'm sure he'll be there soon. But it's been six hours. He should have been there by now, or at least called. Oh, you look beautiful, honey. Do you think we should be worried? Definitely not. Oh, you're probably right. We should go look for him. Annie, he is 20 years old. The streets don't check IDs, Peter. I'm not going with you. Well, fine. I'll just get Maggie. She'll help me. Annie! Don't worry, Dad. She's overreacting. Thank you, Sarah. Now let's get this puppy set up. I should go with her. All right. But when you get back, we're doing some serious brain boxing. Great. Bye. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. Are you happy? With my son missing in the suburbs of Philadelphia? I don't think so. <laughs> you know what, if you really want to worry about something, how about asking why your daughter is wearing a cocktail dress to play Scrabble with her parents? <laughs> if you don't want to be here, you don't have to I'm... be. Hi. Cool pizza. <laughs> Would you two like to come in? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Why don't we sit down? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Does anyone want coffee? Oh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, I have a new girlfriend. Where are your pants? <laughs> well, we can explain. Please explain, Tim. Please explain why your new girlfriend is the woman you used to call the spooky old lady next door. <laughs> Look, we will, but you have to be willing to listen, please. Uh, we, we are listening. Good. You go. All right. You know what a mess I was after Bill and I split. No, hold on a second. I'm sorry. This is very distracting. Is your shirt nearby? Anyway, I, I was so lucky that I had you guys. You helped me with my finances and my lawyer, and you sent Tim by to help out around the house, mowing the lawn, cleaning out the garage, fixing that chair. <laughs> he never could fix it. He couldn't fix anything. <laughs> Except me. He made me feel beautiful again. You are beautiful. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Stop it! Oh. <laughs> Maggie, this is insane. He is a child. No, he isn't. Not anymore. He's a man. He has a Michael Jordan poster on his wall. <laughs> Michael Jordan wasn't afraid to take his shot. Now I'm taking my shot. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? It means I've asked him to move in. And I've accepted. What? I love her dad. I love Mrs. Harris. You can't say love and Mrs. Harris and expect us to take you seriously. I meant Maggie. Yeah, I call her Maggie. He now. usually does. You know what? No. I am saying no. I am putting my foot down and I'm saying no. Dad, I'm staying. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Jimmy, our father has said no. He has put his foot down. <laughs> There's nothing any of us can do about it now. Maybe we should talk about this later. Excuse me? I'm asking you to leave. Then when you've calmed down, we can talk. Come on, Peter. This is horrible. All right, look, maybe we can give in on the phone line and the bedspread. I don't want to, but... Peter, we are way beyond the phone line and the best friend. No, wait a minute. Don't yell at me. This isn't my fault. Are you sure? What? He's rebelling. Uh, You've always been so hard on him. 
Tim, I'm disappointed. Tim, you let me down. Tim, you can't be a car. <laughs> if there's anyone to blame, it might be you. What did I do? For starters, why all that slow dancing? <laughs> One time we decided to move the couch and have a little fun. You caught him, and he's unnaturally attached. Like, this isn't getting us anywhere. What if we call Todd? What? Any? That's brilliant. He looks up to Todd. Todd can talk him out of this. It's busy. Oh, you know what? He could be online. It might be ours. I mean, he has so many interests. We're just gonna have to go over there. What's going on? Tim thinks he's in love with Mrs. Harris. He says he's moving in with her. You know, maybe a bedspread wouldn't hurt. We'll stop by Macy's after Todd. This is so unfair. Trouble. <laughs> I don't understand. How could Tim have met someone? I mean, what's wrong with me? All right, just keep moving. I work hard. I play by the rules. I'm no ugly. To meet someone? Honey, you will, you will, and when you do, he will be so lucky. Bigger fish. <laughs> I am tired of playing by the rules. Tonight, my life changes. All right, honey, let us know how that goes. Todd, are you in there? Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? Your line was busy. We need your help. Your brother is throwing his life away. Who's that? This is Susan. She is my friend. I should go. Then, uh, this is goodbye. <sighs> Todd, what is going on? Just two friends saying goodbye. That's nice. Does she know your other friend? The one you're going to marry? Okay, all right, um, we've been having an affair. I, I've been trying to break it off. I don't know if I can. Well, because you're, you're too sensitive a person? <laughs> because I might be in love with her. What about Jeannie? Look, look, I have by no means given up on Jeannie, okay? I mean, I love her. She's my fiance. She is totally in the mix. <laughs> all right, enough. Sadly, even with this disappointment, your brother has once again outfailed you, so... We have to go. <laughs> you know what? I just want to say that we are not happy with what we heard here tonight. But you know, it took a lot of courage to tell the truth. Oh, cut up! I think maybe this time it's best that I do the talking. Okay. And you should be silent. Right. I'll be silent. Then I'll spring like a lion. No. No. No springing. All we can do is talk to Tim like an adult and let him decide what is best for himself. Okay? Okay. Pizza! Oh. <laughs> Did you take your pants off the moment we left? <laughs> Are they that constricting? Peter. <laughs> May we come in? Of course. Uh, listen, Tim, your father and I owe you an apology. We treated you like a child, but you're not a child, right, Peter? <laughs> you're an adult, and an adult, like yourself, takes his time and thinks things through. I have thought things through. I'm staying here. All right, we respect that, but have you thought about the fact that you're killing me. What? You're killing your mommy. Annie, you know what you want? Because you're doing it. Mom, stop it. Why are you doing this to me? This is crazy. Peter, spring. I'm putting my foot down. All right, this is enough. You're not treating him like an adult. I'm sorry. It's just that you're our son, and then we're worried, and you keep messing up. You think just once by accident you'd succeed? Look, maybe this isn't perfect, but I tried perfect. It didn't work. It didn't make me happy. Tim makes me happy. Why would that matter to me? It matters to me, Mom. I like making her happy. I'm, I'm good at making her happy. Tim. Do you know what that means to me? I finally found what I'm good at, and I can't just give it up because you don't think it's right. Sometimes I, I love her so much, I don't think my heart can take it. 
All right. But if and when things don't work out, we'll be right next door. Because no matter what, we love you, too. Thanks, but it's, it's gonna work. We'll make it work. You know what I just realized? I never ordered the pizza. <laughs> Good luck, Maggie. <laughs> what the hell happened? I don't know. Everything was going fine. And it's not just Tim. Sarah. beginning to think we didn't do a very good job. It's my fault. I was so focused on keeping them off drugs. <laughs> you know, they drum that into your head. Keep them off drugs. Keep them off drugs. Maybe drugs would have helped. I guess I can tell you this now. Todd had a small pill problem when he was at dental school. <laughs> They're never really out of the house, are they? No. No, they're not. Guess who broke some rules tonight? I went to a bar to meet some guys, maybe get picked up. I did not. Everyone thought I was the hostess. Eric and I aren't getting along. Can I sleep here tonight? Oh, of course you can, honey. Maybe things aren't so bad. Who's this Eric? 